What is the worst power armor in science fiction? What is the best would be kind of difficult to come to some objective conclusion to. Do you go by what's physically the strongest, what's the most resistant, what makes you the stealthiest, what has the best inbuilt weapons, which makes you the fastest, which is the best composite of all those certain factors even if it's not the highest in any certain factor. I do want to tackle this eventually, but for now, what's the worst is easiest. Now first, let's define power armor. It's armor that protects you in some capacity and is also powered enough to at least support its own weight. Something that allows you to move in it, kind of like you're not wearing armor at all, and also tries to protect you a little bit. And for the record, something like the exoskeleton in Elysium or Call of Duty doesn't really count to me because it's not really trying to give any armor. I think we can easily say that it's not the Halo Mjolnir armor, and even though 40k Space Marine armor looks a bit clunky, it's still quite effective. What about StarCraft's Terran Marine armor? Nope, it's actually incredibly good, seeing as how it can withstand a hit from the guns that they carry themselves, which are like anti-tank miniguns. Fallout armor? Maybe. Their chest armor value average is about 250, and the sturdy combat armor chest piece, which is probably the closest we have to armor in our modern time, has a value of 25. So the power armor is about 10 times more protective, but you can still get hurt by regular bullets in that armor. That's honestly pretty garbage. It honestly really sucks that you can still get hurt by regular bullets. But what about enhancing your strength? In Fallout 4, what I'm basing this on, it sets your strength at 10, which in game terms mean you can lift about 250 pounds. That's not too strong, I mean it's more than I can lift, however in that game you can theoretically carry multiple tons and still be able to walk slowly. So maybe we should just assume that Fallout Power Armor sets your strength at max human, kind of like Eddie Hall level strength. That is a lot better than any armor we have today, but that's not too impressive in terms of sci-fi. However, this is not the worst power armor. These combat jackets from Edge of Tomorrow, the badly named movie version of All You Need Is Kill, do enhance your strength enough to use super big anime swords. And it has inbuilt weapons, which not even Space Marine or Spartan armor has. However, the powered armor does only really armor your legs. I might say that it's more an exoskeleton and not powered armor, but an attempt of armoring was obviously made, even more so in this still really badly armored version. So this is the worst powered armor in my opinion. What do you think?